To install the Norton 6000 door operator, you'll need a flat blade and a Phillips screwdriver, a thread tap, a tape ruler, and wire strippers. You'll also need a center punch, allen wrenches, and a crescent wrench. Measure and mark the mounting holes for the back plate as you see on the template. Everything is measured from a reference line straight up from the center of the hinge. You'll make two holes, one and one sixteenth above the bottom of the door frame. Mark one three quarters of an inch to the left of the reference line, and the second twenty-one and five sixteenths to the right of the first. Now, just punch the hole locations, drill, and tap. Next, measure the depth of the frame return and cut a wood block of equal thickness. This will help support the operator. For wood framing, screw the blocking directly into the studs, but for masonry walls, lag anchoring will be needed. Install screws in the two holes drilled earlier, but be sure to leave about a 1 8 of an inch gap. Install the back plate over the screws and slide toward the latch edge of the door. Then tighten the screws. Drill and tap the back plate mounting holes and install the other five screws that mount the back plate. Don't fully tighten the two screws marked closer. Leave at least an eighth inch gap. Install the closer subassembly over these screws with the spring tube positioned under the power supply. Then slide the closer subassembly toward the hinge edge of the door and secure the screws. Connect the wiring harnesses from the closer subassembly to the backplate assembly. Now you're ready to attach the track to the door, referring to the template. Locate and prepare three holes in the door for the track. Drill three eighths of an inch holes completely through the door. Install the sex nuts in the back of the door. Place the track against the door. Insert the sex screws through the track and the door and tighten securely into the sex bolts. To secure the arm to the pinion, attach the arm with the screw and washer provided and tighten with a 7 16 wrench. Insert the arm stud into the slide assembly and press the clip on the back side of the slide assembly into the arm stud. Set the full open position of the door by adjusting the stop found near the hinge edge of the door. Cycle the door manually to confirm that all hydraulic functions work properly. If adjustments are needed to the closing speed controls, valve SD controls the sweep range from full open to 5 degrees, and valve L controls the latch range from 5 degrees to the closed position. Next, set the opening valves. Valve B controls back check. Never close this valve completely. Valve P adjusts the back check position or the back check that is felt in the open cycle. The next step is to set the incoming power connection. First, pull the high voltage power wiring through the incoming power conduit. Strip the insulation back 3 eighths of an inch on all incoming power wires. Attach the ground wire to the green ground screw on the back plate. Using a small flat blade screwdriver, insert the blade into the small square beside the terminal. While pushing the screwdriver toward the back plate, insert the stripped end of the wire into the terminal. Once the wire is inserted, release the screwdriver. Check the wire to confirm it is secured. Now, pull the low voltage power and signal wiring through the other conduit and make those connections. You are now ready to power the unit using the on-off switch found on the end cap. A list of menu items will appear on the LCD screen. To scroll through the menu, push the joystick left or right. If you need to change the setting, make sure the cursor is on the line you wish to adjust and push the joystick up or down to increase or decrease the value. To 
accept the changes, scroll down to Save Values and press N on the joystick. To set the home and open positions, the door should be closed. Using the joystick, scroll through the menu on the LCD screen to Home. Push in on the joystick to activate the menu feature. The display will change to Set Close Limit. Push in on the joystick again to set the home or closed position. The display changes to Set Open Limit. Open the door to the desired open position and press in on the joystick again. The display changes to closing to home. Allow the door to fully close. The display changes to home. Scroll to save values and push in on the joystick to save the open and closed positions. Actuate and cycle the door to confirm operation. Should adjustments be required, refer to the installation instructions for details. Finally, install the cover with the appropriate labels and the Norton 6000 is ready for use.